Hello, this is Blaine Pertler with Pertler Electric, and what I'm going to show you today is I allude to this in a couple other videos that I have, but I'm going to show you this today on the stator here. And what I'm talking about is, let me get my temperature gun in here. So what we have here, I got my little laser temperature gun, and I'm telling you what, this is one of the neatest little things you can buy. You can pick them up fairly cheap. You can find out, you know, which uh, cylinder isn't firing, which one's hotter than the other. Shoot your pipe, uh, exhaust pipe there, find the hot spot, or which one isn't firing, and so forth. I mean, it's a great little tool to have. So anyway, I've got my little laser temperature gun. I've got my uh, my multimeter here, and then I've got a stator. So what I'm going to talk about today is. If you ohm out a stator and at colder temperatures, it ohms out good. And you're like, well, it can't be the stator, it ohms out good. But then as it warms up and it comes up to more like a room temperature, that's when it shows its true colors. And that's when it shows you that it's bad. And this, uh, and this is true for a lot of the older stators, the 90 stators and so forth. The newer ones, like the 2000 and, and newer and so forth, they're wound with uh, a little bit different uh, uh, design and so forth, so they don't vary nearly as much as the old ones do here. So, so we've got a stator here. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and show how cold it is. I stuck it in the freezer, and we shoot it here, and hopefully you can see the temperature. Oop, let's find a spot here. It's already starting to warm up, but 35 degrees. This, oh, you, there you can see it. 35 degrees. It was 26 degrees just a minute ago when I pulled it out. So at 35 degrees, which, you know, somewhat, uh, you know, a winter temperature, it's sat out in the garage and so forth, we go ahead and ohm it out. And, you know, I go ahead and uh, ohm this and check the low speed coil. And as you can see on the multimeter there, it ohms out at like 417 ohms. And let me tip this up so you can see just a little bit better. But 417 ohms. The spec on this stator, this is just a ZRT 800, 900,000 stator from like 93 through 99. The spec on this stator is 450 for the low speed and then 25 for the high speed. So our low speed is like is 418 and then uh, just for the heck of it, I'll show the high speed here. Uh, we'll go down to the lower setting here, 200 setting. So as you can see, when these are cold, they do read lower. So, you know, 22.9 or what have you here. So they do read lower. Now, like I say, as this warms up, <clears throat> room temperature or uh, outdoor temperature, like a 60, 70 degrees or what have you, an OEM stator, and I've said this several times, I put this on a lot of posts and so forth, but an OEM stator like this, that low speed coil, and this goes for you know ZR carb, ZR EFIs, and uh, the ZRTs and so forth here, the OEM low speed coil should never get over 450 and usually a good range is somewhere like a 438 to like a 447 or something like that uh, they're 450 from the factory but even after just a slight amount of use then the uh, ohms go down just a little bit but they stabilize and uh, high speed just depends uh, on the uh, like the ZRs and so forth, where the spec is 45, anywhere in the 40s, and you're and you're usually pretty good still. Those don't vary quite as much on the ZRs uh, or even like the ZRTs here. Uh, so like with this one, you could have almost a 10 ohm change, but on this one where it's a 25, you can't go down to 15. 15 is bad. Uh, this is usually just a couple ohms either way. Like I say, same thing for the ZRs. And the 45s you can't be over 45 but 43 or so I mean if it's really cold out it might be a little bit lower than that but if you start seeing something in the 30s it's very highly suspect so like I say you, you're outside and it's cold out and you ohm out your stator and, and like this one here ohmed out just a minute ago it's you know 417 and it flickered to 418 because it's slowly warming up on a on a OEM stator, like I, I say this in a couple other videos, generally speaking, when your low speed coil range or the, the spec is 450, like I say on an OEM, anything in the 440s, you're fine. And once you start to get into the 430s, eh, it's it's suspect. And like I say, it kind of depends how cold it is out. I mean, if it's zero out or what have you, uh, zero degrees F or what have you, then you know it is going to read just a little bit lower. Once you start getting down into the 420s, you get below 430, it starts to become highly suspect. And when you get below 420, 
on a cold stator or even one that's room temperature or what have you that's just it's too far on an OEM and it's 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 more than likely you know about a 98 99 percent chance it is bad or at least it's on its way out so so on this stator here I'm going to say it measured 417 so if I were to you know someone said well I'm having stator trouble and they came back and you know it's 35 degrees outside like we just measured with the temperature gun you know it's 35 degrees outside and I just measured it as 417 I'd be like oh man that's that's getting way too low well that's you know within spec you know cat says it's okay I would tell him I'd say well you know what my experience tells me that that's getting too low and at the very very least it's very highly suspect that it's bad but what I could tell him to do next, I said, well, take it out. Let's try to get it up to like room temperature and see what it measures then because it shouldn't get over 450. So let's go ahead and shoot it again here. It's slowly warming up. And, well, the exterior on this anyways is, you know, 50 some degrees here. Mid 50s. F. But, you know, to touch it, I can tell it's still cold because, like I say, I pulled it out of the freezer. But we'll show these ohms continue just to rise on this. And like I say, we're going to show this on the low speed, uh, low speed side here. And so now we measure it, and it's gone from 417 up to, you know, now we're up to almost 430 now. So what I'll do is uh, I'm going to shut the camera off for a second, and we'll give this another maybe 10 minutes or so. Uh, five minutes or so and I'll check it again and then another five minutes and I'll check it again and then you'll see once this comes up to a more of a room temperature starts to get up around the actual temperature of the whole thing all the way through is 50 degrees you know 40 50 degrees 60 degrees and it varies just a little bit but that's a general range you'll see this sucker will start to creep up 450 451 452 453 that resistance Resistance is just based on the wire in here. So like I've said before, you don't all of a sudden get more wire on the low speed coil or high speed coil. It should be within spec. It should be, like I say, in the 440s or so. Never over 450. Once you get over 450 on the stator that's either cold or room temperature, there's more resistance in there and you didn't all of a sudden gain more wire so that more resistance is just from it shorting out internally on the coils here so like I say it will give us a few more minutes I'll shoot it again with the temp uh, with the temp gun here and then uh, you'll slowly see those uh, those ohms continue to creep up on it and like I said before then the stator will show its true colors of it being bad so here we are just uh, you know maybe five minutes later here and uh, let's measure again. She's you know slowly creeping up 442. So I mean you can see how long it will stay in the quote unquote you know good range or under 450 or what have you. So let's uh, shoot her with the temp gun here. The inside core feels colder than the the outside there. So I don't know if we can get a real true reading on all this stuff here. Well, I'll turn it this way. It looks like it's still in the 50s here, what have you, on the exterior. Uh, I don't know why it's reading 80. <laughs> it's not that warm in here. <laughs> but, I don't know, the exterior anyway right now is, you know, measuring, what, 50s and 60s here. I think uh, most people can see that. So, uh, But, I mean, when I touch it, it's cold yet. I mean, it's still cold internally uh, on this. So, the uh, coils themselves hadn't have, have been not had a chance to warm up yet. I was trying to see what the copper wire was reading here. So... That's, that's reading higher, but like I say, it's not 80 degrees in here, but anyway, uh, well, we'll measure it again here in a little bit, and I keep kind of setting this back like this so you can kind of tell it's the same stator, because there might be that one person who's, well, he probably just changed the stators, and that's just a different one, so try to set things like that, and then I turn the camera off, turn it back on, everything's in the same spot, so it's like, well, either he's really, really good at putting things back in the same spot, or yes, it is the same stator. Not BSing anybody. Like I say, probably another 5 minutes, 10 minutes or so, then this sucker will start creeping over 450. When I've measured it in the past, uh, this one's been like 456, 458. But when I receive these in the mail, that's what happens. I'll get them in and they ohm out good. I just set them on the bench, leave them there overnight, come back the next morning, then all of a sudden, like I said, they show their true colors and they're over 450. So we'll give her another 5, 10 minutes. Alright, so here we are just uh, about 5 minutes later. 
and uh, we'll take another reading here and uh, like I say you'll slowly see this creeping up now the stators will oh we're up, yep 449 I mean even an OEM one that reads 449 that's at room temperature or cold I mean that's even highly suspect because like I say 447 448 is about it on an OEM so but um the stators will read higher when they're hot. You know, you run the sled for just, I mean, even just a minute or two, and they will read higher. You know, they'll read in the 500s or what have you. So, we'll give us another five minutes or so, but as soon as an OEM at room temperature gets over, uh, like I say, you know, gets over 450 or so, let's try to get this over here, 450 or so, then, uh, you know, 62, 63, it feels a little bit colder than that, but it is warmer. I can, you know, I can feel it coming up, uh, well, I should turn it like this, but you guys can see the temperature. It feels colder than what it's reading here. It's not 87. I don't know what I'm grabbing to get 87 on this thing, but uh, but it's slowly coming up to temperature. So like I say, about another five minutes or so, as soon as the stator creeps over 450, I've had them just measure 451, 452, and that's it, and it's still bad. So we'll give it just a couple more minutes, and then uh, one more reading, and then you'll see what I mean. So, all right. Okay, here we are about five minutes later, and uh, I tipped the camera down, so that's why a little bit different angle there. But uh, So what we're going to do is measure the low speed coil one more time. So we started off at 417 when it was at 35 degrees, and then now, about uh, we're about a half hour later, and it's about uh, 68 or so in the house. Now you can see the reading. It's uh, we got 455, 456. Whoops, slipped off the... Uh, the contact there there we go so 456 right now at least on uh, this multimeter so like I say anytime these get over 450 they are bad and you can see now how you can measure them when it's cold outside and it measures okay you think your ohms are okay but you bring it inside and uh, let it get up to room temperature now when I grab it here you can tell it's stabilized it's it's more evenly an even temperature all the way around as you measure the outside of the post or the core, um, you know, 67, 70, uh, we'll flip it over just for the other side here, it's probably in the same ballpark, 71. So you can see how the temperatures are pretty much evened up and stabilized on the whole unit here. So, so in a nutshell, that's uh, the video I wanted to show because I tell guys that, you know, measures can measure okay when cold or uh, uh, 35, 40 degrees, but you bring this up to a room temperature or, um, you know, 70, 80 degrees, and it actually, you know, you know, it looks like after it stabilizes around 60 or so, then that's when, or 50 or 60, that's when you'll actually start to see the real uh, ohm readings on these. So if you have any questions, you can go ahead and PM me through uh, the comment section, and uh, I can get back with you. But this has been Blaine Pertler for Pertler Electric. Thank you.